what's going on? This cab's coming. Coming at you once again. Me and wifey in the car. We just started conversating about relationships and what we're seeing out here. You know, uh, just talking about like what we may be out of the game a little bit understanding what the hell is going on out here um, but if someone could please tell us what the hell is going on out here what what makes a relationship is it what somebody has what can they can do for them what 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 the hell is going on because i'm not understanding it's a lot of motherfuckers running around here single ain't got nobody nobody to hang a picture for them and nobody to fucking like I got a flat tire can you can you come help me out me as a brother of a sister I fall into that category all the time and I'm like fuck uh, you know a lot of motherfuckers and shit and I'm sure you're interacting with them, some of them maybe in a manner sexual manner or you know relationship manner so why is it that you don't have anybody to come help you out? You know? Say what you think. You gotta start talking to me over here like you can't say nothing. Say the same shit we be saying and we ain't no camera on. Well, I just think that it's um, more of what do you have anymore? I, I remember when we were younger and dating and going out, it, was, it wasn't about what someone had it was what the potential that a person seen in the other person like um, when we met I was like ooh you know I could see the potential in um, in uh, you as a mate and I would hope that you would see me as ooh that, now she's a good mom or she's a good woman and she right. cooks she cleans she right, right, all right, that right. kind of stuff so I mean, I wasn't worried about money. Um, I'm not worried about money now. I make, I make over, I make roughly around one hundred and fifty, sixty thousand dollars. I can go back to the hood and live and be comfortable than a motherfucker. I don't, I, you know, do I want to? No, but if I had to, I'd be good. So it ain't all about the money. I ain't worried about traveling and shit. That's why. I, Motherfuckers coming up with this corona shit. Stay your ass and where you at. You know what I mean? I haven't even seen uh, Wyoming, Montana yet, but uh, I want to go to Dubai and all these fucking places. I know I don't. I don't really care to. It ain't that important. So I'm not willing to spend $10,000 on traveling and seeing some other fucking part of the country. I see the same shit I'm going to see. I see it on TV. I put the History Channel on and just watch that shit. So. My point is, is, you know, what are you looking for in a relationship? Is it, is it money? Is it, is it, uh, you know, is it, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I then just, you don't know what it, what, 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 what are, what, you know, what is the real insight into us? What are you, what do you want in a, in a, in a mate? Is it that he's just a, a, a wallet, or well, she's she a just... badass and some lashes and some and some titties and you know what? I, I, I hang out with guys; they share pictures like they trading baseball cards, basketball cards, and shit. And I know they don't know all these women, but the conversation is like that. Shit is amazing, you know. Maybe I'm out of scope because I've been married 23 years. You know, maybe I'm, you know, it's just me. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. But the shit, I just sit back and like watch. I hang out. I, I always sit back and just watch, watch the narrative, see who's trying to turn up, who's trying to be the loudest, who's trying to be fully engaged, and all of that shit. They always ask me, oh, you don't never say nothing. You always sit back quiet because that's what I do. I just watch people. I like watching people. Me too. You know. 
I remember back in the day going to the club and I've always been this way. Uh, me and one of my partners, we used to say, hey, let's go talk to this chick. I said, I'm gonna talk to her first and see what happens and shit. And then you go talk to her next and see if we can get the same fucking story. And it always used to be some different shit. You know what I mean? She either act shitty with me, you know, because when people go out, they high side. You don't know one from Adam, right? So it's like they got this, they got that, they this, they that, whatever. You know what I mean? So that's the story she gave me. And then my boy went over there. She was like, oh, I got three kids. I'm, uh, you know, I need some help. You know, I'm looking for a good man and yada, yada, yada. Well, that, and then when they say I need a good man, what does that consist of? I don't understand because a lot of times they don't even know what a say, good man. I don't think so because I because I hear people yeah. say, "Oh, I want a good yeah. man," and yeah. and it's all about what he can give them instead of what they can do together. Because I'm yeah. like, sure. um, some people say, "Oh, well, he needs to make this amount of money. I need to have a." Uh, ring, a two carat, three, four, five carat ring before, you know, or I need to, um, uh, he needs to do this and do that for me. He needs and to all this, that. all this, oh, I buy you a ring and then you, I give it to you. you like, oh, I don't want that. And now we're taking it back. Yeah. I, and, and, so I don't understand. I, 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 that shit, you be canceled like a motherfucker. If I bought you a ring and you don't <laughs> like it and you say, hey, I don't want this. We need to turn it back. Bye. <laughs> you think I'm bullshitting? You know, I, I, it's, it's some shit that... Because I want to see where you're at. I want to see where you're at. I want to see if you're accepting of simple shit. You know. I ain't going to be taking your ass out to Ruth Chris, Charlie's restaurant every fucking weekend, every week and shit. Nobody can do it. That's unrealistic. I don't deal with unrealistic shit. You know what I mean? That's 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 crazy, but you know, that's the narrative now, that's the norm, sorta. Um, you know. And and the guys are playing into it, the females are playing into it, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 just I'm just trying to figure it out. Maybe y'all got some answers, I don't know. I just know that uh it's some crazy shit and I'm just trying to figure it out as I go out about this world I'm looking at people watching people, listening to people you know you know the thing is, it's like a lot of, a lot of guys I, I that I get that, you know, everybody's lying everybody is fucking like lying and, and being so dishonest I'm not saying that that, you know, I'm perfect or anything like that, but it's a lot of shit going on. I mean, when 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 you when you are when I ever went into a relationship, I'm figuring like 80 80 80 percent 80 percent of the women are wanting to be in a relationship where they feel coveted. They feel like you okay. got yeah you you got my back. I got you know you 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 know I'm yours. You know in a sense. Of, of, of relationship ownership anyway like like you got me I'm secure uh, so so when you out here playing you know what I mean guys when you out here playing they all they all looking for some shit I mean there's very few women that are like you know the type of women like in Spike Lee's movie that she's gotta have it that's that independent to say, hey, I'm going to be fucking three dudes and they all bring different things to the table and I'm cool with that. No, the social the social norm, which is my site, uh, Virtuous Deviant, tackles, most women are not going to be cool with that because our society's, the society's norm has, 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 has everyone thinking uh, in a sense of slut shaming and you can't be independent. You can't, you can't be seen 
two or three people or whatever. And that mean you a hoe or you this or you that. While men, you know, we can do whatever the fuck we want to. You know what I'm saying? We can grab them by the pussy. We can grab them by the ass in the club. We can do whatever we want to. And, and, and our boys give us high fives and... You know, we beat our chest. We're trying to put shit on our headboard notches and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I seen a video where it was talking about, um, you know, if a girl is with a couple of guys, uh, she's a slut. And the girl was like, why am I a slut? And you know, what, what if, you do, if you're doing that, what are you? And he's like, oh, I'm a slut maker. See, that's the, that's the kind of retarded thinking, but that's how men are because we're not that strong. We have to be, men are not that strong. Ladies, have y'all ever like really got it together to the point where you like, don't give a fuck about what nobody's saying? But you're not like outwardly expressing that like, motherfucker this, motherfucker that. No, but if you if you get to a point where you are, you're totally uh, secure and, uh, you know, who you are and whatnot. And don't worry about that shit. Man, we not, we not that strong. We not. We need things. We need shit to talk about. That's why you have 50 year old men like myself. We still talking about shit when we was 18, when we was slam dunking, we was on the park, out at the park hooping and shit. And, and oh, we still talking about all the bitches we had in high school and how many we was. And I'm gonna give y'all a little secret too. <laughs> this, this this dude's running around here right now, still waiting. I told my wife, it's it's some dude right now waiting to see if he can still fuck her. And she slip up and be, you know, uh, lonely or she ain't married anymore. You know, you know, he see her and, and they had dinner and they and they have sex. Any of the cats that he was hanging out with in high school, he's gonna be like, yeah, man, I, shit, I finally fucked Monica, man, shit, nigga, that, shit, this Next been, class reunion. It's, it's been 30 <laughs> years, boy. I always wanted that pussy. <laughs> That's how we roll. That's how men think. We, we be on some shit. We be on some shit. I, it's funny to look at it, to look at yourself, to look at, you know, your friends and, and, and other men and how they get caught up in shit. How they get shot, how they get robbed, you know what I'm saying? I heard plenty stories from the hood, you know, back where I grew up when niggas was, you know, uh, I mean, you know, guys were just really getting caught up because they was chasing some ass. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's, it's, it's nuts, but you know, these are the type of things we we talk about all the time. We're gonna start recording them because we be talking about stuff all the time. And uh, it's just a lot of inf interesting inf uh, conversations and information in regards to relationship and um, how things are have changed since we were in the. I mean, they they changed. They they stayed a little bit of the same, but they changed in the sense of how and what people um, want, you know. Society is, has changed, you know, the dynamics have changed, you know. Like I, like I said, I've never gave a damn about no money. I ain't never, I, I you know, if a chick is, is what, you know, people think she's super fine, but she's an asshole, I take the regular chick any day that's cool, that we can, that we can hang out, barbecue, do some shit in the yard, go to the park. All that high side and shit, I ain't all about that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't matter. Because just like, you know, Eric Renee had Halle Berry and everybody was like, oh man, how, how Eric cheat on Halle? Shit, Halle just another chick to him. He, he, he He's dating all kind of other chicks and meeting all kind of other people. You know, our expectation or our value of Halle was like she was the shit, but you know, for him, it's like she's just a regular chick. She ain't nobody like super special. So that's what you got to remember. You know, no matter what value 
other people are putting on a, a, a female or a male. You know, he's just a regular motherfucker. He put his pants or shirts on or blouse or dress or panties or whatever. Uh, uh, the same way that uh, anybody else does. So, you know, you got to remember that and shit and keep shit in perspective and look for, you know, shit that's, that's, that's valuable. Like a person being able to care about you, you know, possibly wipe your ass when you can't wipe it and shit, you know, shit like that. Like the motherfucker's gonna hold you down and, and be there for you. With all this pretty shit, you know, it's cool. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I, I'm glad my wife got a nice ass versus not, but, you know, I got lucky, I don't know. Cause I ain't the Mac, I just, I got love. I think she was be kind to weirdos weeks when she met me. I don't know what it was, so. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we'll be sending out more videos here. Probably gonna edit some of this stuff. I don't know if I wanna leave the word nigga in there. I'd be throwing it out there sometimes. Some of y'all might be offended about the word or whatever, but you know. But probably it's real more. conversation. If you yeah, want to hear real conversation, then that's probably what you're going to hear. Yeah, so, hey, Cap's coming. This will probably be on Virtuous Deviant as well. Uh, but uh, Leave a comment. Leave a comment if you like, if you don't like, you know. And tell us what you think a real relationship in today's time uh, consists of. I mean, from people that that are out there. That are out there, you know what I mean? Because I got another conversation on this poly shit too that I gotta I gotta make, but that's gonna be at a later date in a different video. Um, so we'll see you soon. Caps out.